Okay, so in this particular video, we're going to look at um, adding and subtraction um, an algebra equation, and we're going to make it just a little bit more simple. And what I've done is written on the side this whole idea of adding and subtracting fractions, and just a little example there to show you. Because the whole idea is we need to make sure that the bottom number, the lowest common multiple, is the same. And it's no different really for the simplification that we're being asked to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at each of the terms and convert them to something over 12. So it's going to be something over 12 minus something over 12 plus something over 12. And then the question is, what have we done to 4? How many times have we multiplied 4? to get to 12. Well, we've multiplied that by three times, so we're going to do exactly the same with the top. We're going to say that if we multiply that 4 by 3, then we're going to multiply the top by 3. So that's going to give us 9x over 12. OK, hope that's OK for you. Same holds true for the second one, but we've got to be a little bit careful with that because we've got two separate parts of that. But what I'm going to do is put those into a bracket, and I'm just going to, for the moment, write it as 4x plus 2. OK? And then the final one we can leave as it is because it's already over 12, so that's going to be x plus 2. OK, I hope that's OK for you. Now, this is quite a difficult one to sort of work through, so I hope you're OK with me at this particular point, and I will post some future videos that might have some uh, little bit more simple ones to have a look at. OK, we're in a position now where we need to really just tidy all of this up and make it look a little bit more presentable. So I'm going to say, well, I know that the bottom number is 12 for all of them, so that's perfectly good. I'm going to keep that as over 12 for everything. The first one is 9x, that's fine, I'm going to leave that as 9x. Now we've got to be a little bit careful because what we're saying is, is that everything inside this bracket we're multiplying by minus 4. So do be very careful about that one. That we need to look at multiplying out the bracket so we get minus 4x, that's the first bit of it, and then we've got minus 4 times positive 2. Well that's going to be minus Eight. All right, I hope that's okay for you. Just be really careful about the way that you do these. So the first two terms have now become 9x minus 4x minus 8. And then the last bit is going to stay as it is, as x plus 2. Okay, and again, we're going to tidy this up a little bit. And what you'll find is you've got 9x minus 4x plus x. Well, that's going to give you 6x. And then you've got minus 8 plus 2 is going to give you minus 2, and that's all going to, sorry, beg your pardon, minus 6, and that's all going to be over 12. Okay, that really is the answer. Now, I guess in a situation like this, this is probably a three mark question. Now, you probably would achieve two marks for this because they'd want you to simplify this even further. Well, what you can do is you could say, um, that this is the same as saying 6x over 12 minus 6 over 12, and then you could simplify it that way. So that would become a half x minus a half. And then one of the ways in which you can write that, that would be just a little bit simpler, if you combine the two twos together, you get x minus 1 over 2. OK, um, I hope that's OK for you. It has a little bit of a tricky example, um, but uh, please do add any comments below and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.